welcome back to Spider's Web and in this video is the final Neobot team and we're starting off with Spaceship Exterior as you've just seen and this particular mini is completely different style to the rest of the uh, team even though each of the individual um, types of player have a slightly different uniform this one is a standalone and it's the only one that has this particular uniform um, and thank you to everybody who has voted for the name so far the uh, St. Owens Crushes is the uh, the lead I think if I remember rightly from the uh, from the votes that I put up um, so uh, it looks like that might be the, uh, the team name but not too late if you want to change or if you want to add your votes or anything different it's uh, vote is oh, the poll is still up until I think the end of next week I did say I was going to do going to leave it up for two weeks <clears throat> and one thing I have to do before I go any further is to apologize to solo wargamer um, I didn't check my uh, kicks not, not my kicks my patreon and we have a and Solo Wargamer is now a patron and he's, pay and he's ple uh, pledged, he's, he's joined the um, producer tier so at the end of the video there will be his name um, as producer and anybody, if anybody would like to join him as producer then please feel free to uh, pop over to Patreon when this video is finished and help me out there because I could only do with a little bit of help at the moment and I know money's tight but um, <clears throat> all things aren't going too brilliantly in this uh, Covid era but um, any little helps um, we, it's not the first Patreon we have but uh, it's the first one that uh, has pleasure at the level where you'll get mentioned in the video so well, not mentioned in the video, but listed as a producer. So what I've done with the previous videos of this particular um, series, I've actually put producer down in the description bar <coughs> because the videos have only been up and published before I actually realised that we've got a Kickstarter... Uh, I keep saying Kickstarter, a Patreon uh, backer, so... Yes, once again, thank you very much for uh, becoming a patron member. So, we're going through all of the um, armour in this white. And you'll see, as the video goes on, that we're going to be doing something slightly different with the colours with this, because it's a completely different um, armour design. And it's also to make him stand out to the more as a captain. Now this is the penultimate video <coughs> for this St. Helens um, team. Um, because the next video I've got to do is actually finishing off and uh, trying to pull everything together and possibly doing a little bit more highlighting on each of the minis because what I want to do is give each of these minis a wash with a light um, wash <coughs> and after I've done that I'll see how it looks and then make the case of having to come back again with more light to brighten up some of those parts of the armour and I also want to distinguish the actual <coughs> um, what we call it uh, type of uh, team be adding a little bit of colour to the bases as well. That's just so I know which is the jack, just by looking around, which is the jack, which is the um, strike, and which is the jack. So I'm based on the next video in this series. So we're plodding on with this um, spaceship exterior. <coughs> And I noticed in one of my uh, 
one of the messages that has been put up that somebody else agrees with, with me over the quality of these minis. It's such a shame because they've such potential of being really good sculpts, but because the details are so fine and so shallow on them, they don't stand out as much as they should do, which is unfortunate. But there we are. <clears throat> And once again, I'd want to uh, thank Ian Cleverdon for allowing us to use his music in the video, all the details of his albums, and uh, both his solo stuff and his work with the heroes uh, is uh, in the description there. So uh, if you want any more details, you can pop down there and follow the links. Now we're going to go over to Rough Iron, and this is going to be all the mechanical parts under the armour. <coughs> Again, you've seen the you've seen me do these before with the past videos. Um, I know I'm repeating myself over and over again. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. But I want to show how I'm doing each individual type of um, team player, as it were, to coin a phrase, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> it's. Uh, I just want to show how I do each particular one, so that's the reason I'm doing the video. So you'll see how I paint a guard, a jack, a striker, a captain, that kind of thing. <clears throat> you also need to paint the balls as well, don't forget. I mustn't forget that. <clears throat> as you can see, there's a lot more little intricate details in this I'm trying to get covered with the rough iron not just <coughs> not just big patches beneath the armor. <coughs> now, I'm not exactly sure whether it should be a guard no, no, sorry it should be a striker or a jack because he's got the catching glove but <coughs> what we do now is he's the, he's the captain so he can be whichever one he wants to be I suppose <laughs> <coughs> I'm saying he but he's uh, it's uh, Neobot, so it's a robot basically. So we're going back into the spaceship exterior just to touch up a few areas. <clears throat> because there's some parts that I decided, or that I thought I was going to do, is uh, the rough iron, but I've decided not to. So we'll go over those areas and any areas that I've missed, like on the hand of her. Instead of uh, 
Oops, no, no, the voice out of the, um, the water. Oh, yeah, that beginning to be a little nice. To look much brighter. To give it the right look. <coughs> to stand out a little bit more being the captain. Sometimes we go back to go backwards and backwards and forwards. 